Um, in World War II, we were breaking Nazi Germany codes and reading the orders to the field commanders before the German field commanders. Now, the historians have written about this, and they've, they've indicated it probably shortened global conflict anywhere from 18 months to two years. So now, I would challenge a journalist to say, if you had that information, in the interest of transparency, would you have made it public? Could I just add one thing to make it more? Yeah. I mean, I think that the question is, who decides? Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm, not everything that we classify should be classified. Agreed. The executive branch is overclassified forever. The reasons you classify, the only reasons you should classify are to protect sources and methods. Therefore, if, if that really happens, and classified material leaks, people die and, and our capability going forward is compromised. That's what classification is for. Obviously, it's broadly used to protect turf, to protect people yeah. from embarrassment, and that's a problem we have to solve. But I would just put something out there before Jim answers, and that is it leaked that Osama bin Laden, about 10 years before we got him, was using an Intel sat phone, mm -hmm. right. a Thiraya, Thiraya. Thiraya yeah. phone, so, you know, a satellite phone. Which we and could follow him and as he moved around. Who leaked that, wasn't it? I don't remember who I leaked that. it was that. Lieberman. But uh, I've never heard that. <laughs> Okay. But anyway, I always say, how could the Congress leak? We have no information. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know who leaked yeah. it. But I anyway, have a response it was to that, but I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was published that he was using yeah. a, a cell phone that we were able to track. Yeah. What did he do? He stopped using cell phones and started using couriers. And nobody has missed how long it took to find the guy through the courier or the chain of couriers. And so we lost a lot of capability. And I feel the same way about the Stuxnet virus. Uh, won't disclose who was doing that, but it's certainly been in the press that that happened. I think that has compromised our capability to interfere with the, and slow down the development of nuclear weapons by countries that I believe uh, threaten our allies and us. So bad that that's been in the press. And on this leak, Again, uh, it was in the press six, seven years ago. These programs, you know, the, all the folks are saying, I'm shocked, I didn't know, I didn't know. This was in the press in 2005 and 2006, wow. and it caused Congress, that was when it occurred to some, some of us that the administration wasn't following FISA to amend FISA to bring all of this stuff under strict safeguards with a federal court reviewing this stuff and Congress being more fully Jim, do you mind have a comment before yes. I go back to Mike? Sure. So, so, so. Um, I, I, will, I will comment on three brief planes. Point one, I, I certainly um, agree with Mike's proposition. There are times when they're of operational sensitivity. Of course, the press in, in, uh, in most nations will recognize the importance of guarding information. World War II, uh, you know, I'm sure there are people in, bo in the press of both the U.S. and the U.K. who understood the, the Coventry bombing, where, where Churchill allowed Coventry to be bombed rather right. than reveal they'd broken the German code. Same with Yamamoto and his codes with, right. with Japan. Uh, I wrote a book called Breaking the News, in which one, very, one part was about whether a, an American news unit in Vietnam that saw a, an American platoon about to be ambushed, would they have any duty to, to warn, warn them or, or not? So I think people in the press, even in the press, we, we recognize this. Um, point two would be to say, yes, when it comes to information surveillance, we recognize the concept with Stuxnet, with the Osama bin Laden leak, that that changed change behavior. I think the belief in the press is that most of these leaks actually come they are usually voluntarily given either by executive branch or legislative branch people. Uh, that, that's as you, you probably know, know too. In this, now if we come to the instant case of this guy Snowden whose motives we don't know. The benefit, so, so the harm is knowledge that information broadly is being collected more than many people um, recognized. It seemed to me that every spy movie spy thriller and documentary over the past 10 years has turned on this basic plot point. You don't use cell phones, you know, Osama bin Laden lived in a compound because they knew that something like this was happening, and yet the public wasn't debating the actual programs because they weren't brought to attention. The president has said it's good we're having this debate. We wouldn't have it without this episode.